Aloha class! Welcome to our art class. So for today, we will be doing an art project called Glue Resist Art. Glue Resist Art. Okay, so for this activity, I would like you to have this goal in mind that you will be able, I'll just read it, you'll be able to create a surroundings inspired art by using glue and crayon. I'll be going over that later on. So think about your surroundings. What do you observe? Hmm. Look outside your window right now. Do you see trees, birds, or how about this? Leaves, plants, or a view like this. That would be cool. Or a street, houses, plants, doors, or if you're living somewhere that you know the leaves are turning into orange, yellow, red because it's fall, or mountains, beach, or you're living beside a farm, or sunflower, or you serve animals, or just inside your room. So for this project, we need glue with a squeezer and crayon. Crayon and glue. And pencil. Pencil is optional, okay? Got it? Great. Okay. So now we head on to our vocabulary before we could go on to our demonstration for this art project. Okay, so for this art project, we have the word embossing. Embossing. What does it mean? To decorate with the race design. Hmm, decorate with the race design. Can you see this lid right here? You see that there are details of letters. And if you touch it, you'll feel that it's raised. It's embossed. They did a process of embossing. That's one of the art that we could do for our projects. Pretty cool, right? Next one is repel. What is repel? To keep something out or away. So one of our materials, the glue, if we use it and if it dries out, it resists the crayons. It doesn't absorb. That's the opposite of repel. Absorb. Repel is not accepting the material. It keeps something out or away. One more word that we could remember, resist. These two are the same. Repel, resist, resist. Okay, let's head on to our demonstration. Now we have our beautiful glue. First, we need to unscrew our tip, glue tip. We have our paper, and now we need to press it on the paper slowly. I'm doing this slowly because this will create a beautiful embossed line for my art project. So for this part, I'm making a heart shape. See? See all those lines. There are no gaps. Now I will demonstrate how you could stop. So you need to press it and then pull it upward. So if you do a fast moving glue tip like this, you'll notice that it has gaps. See? There's gaps. but. If you press it continuously and slowly and then pull it upward when you stop it, you'll create a beautiful line compared with these two lines. There you go. So when it dries up, it will look like this beautiful flower. Okay, did you enjoy that? So this is an example of a dried flower, <laughs> dried glue flower. The glue should be pressed continuously in a slow, slow motion. And after 10, 20 minutes or overnight, for better results, it will look like this. Now the glue is not white at all. Now that it's dry, we can color it. So we have brown for the inner inner circle and then yellow 
for the petals. So let's start coloring. See how it resists the crayon? I'll make this closer. It resists the crayon because it's embossed. Now we're done in the middle part. Let's color the petals. There you go! Look at that! Pretty, huh? See? It repels, resists against the crayon. Good job, everybody! So before we end, let me show you one of the examples. So this one, it's a fall-inspired tree. So remember, for this art project, you just need a construction paper at the back so that we can mat it. So paper, crayon, and glue. So at this time, how do we clean up? We just put all the crayons back into their boxes or containers, put them in the right area, and all the glue, if it's unscrewed, tighten it, tighten it, because if you didn't tighten it, it will dry. Just like our project, it will dry. Okay, so that's it. Thank you everybody. Have a great art project.